it's Madden NFL 23. And coming up, we'll see the electric Kyler Murray. He's coming off a nice week throwing the ball. Four touchdown throws. It's the Cardinals and the Rams. And it's coming up next on EA Sports. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Today we hit week 10 and we've got a good one in store between the Arizona Cardinals and the Los Angeles Rams. Brandon Gunn here with Charles Davis as always. As CD, you look at the Rams in this matchup. They're squaring off against a very tough unit to throw against. And this is not one of the better passing offenses in the league to begin with, Brandon. And to illustrate that point, they're down near the bottom of the power ranking, so the focus is going to need to be on possession-type throws. Whether they're trying to use their running backs or tight ends a little bit more, the big thing is to make sure the quarterback gets it out of his hands quickly to his receivers, and they hope to gain an advantage that way. Touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. Now here comes the Los Angeles offense and the man in charge of it in his second season with the team, 14th overall in what's been an impressive career, Matthew Stafford. And the numbers were not pretty. I mean, they don't look right. When you throw two interceptions, no touchdown passes, there's no way to really make that work. But I thought there were a lot of positives in watching his game tape. I think he's close to putting out a good performance. Let's see if he can flip those numbers around in this game. And, of course, rally his team to a win. Stafford going to throw from the outset. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. Finding room in midfield. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Now the first carry for Cam Akers. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Going right back to Akers. And he's going to be stopped up just short of the first down at the Cardinals 34. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll try and run for this with Akers. Gets around him. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. Clock running under a minute to go in a scoreless first quarter. From the red zone now, Stafford. He'll get this one to cut complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. On second and inches, Stafford. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. No score after one on EA Sports. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door first and goal. They'll run here with Akers. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. From the two now, second and goal. Akers will score. Touchdown, LA. Building confidence after a loss. That's a good way to do it. The loss last game, but first drive here on this one, cashing it in for six. And they can talk all they want about putting the loss behind them. I think that drive there did more than 
any conversation they had, don't you think? That's exactly right. Puts that to bed. And this is what they said all week long. A lot of things they needed to do differently. Whatever they said appears to have worked. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. But here comes Kyler Murray in his fourth NFL season leading this Cardinal offense. Already a two-time Pro Bowler in his time with Arizona. And his task in this situation is making sure this team knows that there's a sense of urgency, yet somehow still stays calm. Because your natural impulse, your first possession is not until the second quarter is you got to attack right away. Throw something big at them right away. Yeah, you've got to move the ball, but maybe be a little bit careful in doing so. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Murray's throw pulled in by Hopkins. And he's going to be dropped for him. can pick up a 7 past the 30 to the 32. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Random to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. This throw incomplete nearly put off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. With third down coming up. Now Murray off play action. And it's incomplete, broken up. But there is a flag down. Let's see what that's, that's about. Ethan. Well, he was just trying to contain DeAndre Hopkins, and he got a little too close. And because of his ability to line up in different spots on the field and come at you from different angles, different guys have to cover him, and all of them have the same issue. How do you do it without interfering? In this case, it didn't get done. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They fake the handoff, now Murray. And complete to Zach Ertz. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. First down now, but the clock continues to move. This is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals! Zach Ertz, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Cards are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. The big fella was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. Now Matt Prater for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive spanned five plays, and it ends with a Zach Ertz touchdown. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield, as you mentioned. It's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel good. There he goes, right side. The 30. Extra point by Kane is up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. 
Play fake. Murray. Zach Ertz has it complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. On play action, it's Murray. Finding Ertz again. And they'll wind up getting this with all the way down inside the 20. First down now with that clock rolling. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. And Hopkins has got it. Touchdown, Arizona. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Cardinals have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and then bring the football out to the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. And we will likely not see another play here as they take the knee and head into the intermission all tied. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Greg Dorch back deep. And take it right on the 30. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a halftime over. No problem with us. We skip right to the third quarter and continue this midseason contest. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Cardinals ready to go here to start the third quarter. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense what we did in the first half. But the defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? And that almost their first time in the team. He had his sights on it, but he couldn't see the deal. Play action. Now it's Murray. Steps away. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. They're going for it. Hits Murray on the move to his left. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. Just when you want on a first down run, call it eight yards. And it's second and two. Brings up second and two. They'll go again here with Akers. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. A 
down. Field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. A give up the middle to Akers. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. The defense stiffens to force fourth down following that first down gain of eight. And Gay knocks this one through, and they take a 17-14 lead. Well, a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up the touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Locates Ertz going across the middle. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. First down, Murray. Ertz has it left side. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This from 44 yards out, left hash. And the 38-year-old vet able to split the uprights. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net. But they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. On first down, they'll start out with Akers. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Stafford now to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Cards are going to take possession of the football. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally. And that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes. And that's one of our managers back at Tennessee, Coach Major, say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. So now Stafford and the Rams down 20 to 17, 2-12 to play. A four straight defeat looming on the horizon, barring a comeback here as they've got it with a first down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Now Stafford. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Now it's Stafford. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. 
And he'll be brought down at the 27. Less than two to play with just a field goal separating these two sides. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now Stafford. And this is incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up fourth. Gay's kick is good, and that will tie this game here in the final minute of the play. So a big kick to get this back to even, and now the worry is, did you leave too much time on the clock? It's another field goal the other way, and that does you in. You're exactly right. You didn't get into overtime yet, so now as a defense, you've got to think to yourself, you can't play prevent defense and just give up big chunks of yardage in front of you. But you also can't let anyone behind you. So you sit right on the line between the two. Play the best defense you can and not make it easy for them to move the ball downfield. The Cardinal offense takes back over. They need to get this around the 40 to have a chance to win it in regulation. From the 40, it's a 57-yard field goal, so that gives you a gauge. And all they're trying to do now is pick up yardage in good chunks and get out of bounds to stop the clock. If they end up running a play and get tackled in bounds, they're worried the clock may run out on them and finish the game. And they'll have to be careful how they handle this. Murray to throw. His throw incomplete. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or trade ball over the passing lane. Yes. This is exactly what you do is both because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. If you have a big time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. Murray sets to throw on fourth. He's got Connor. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Now Murray. Caught by the tight end Ertz. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. He's a gain of 17 yards. First down to Arizona. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. So here's the veteran kicker, Matt Crater. Two for two on the afternoon, and a third will win it. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. From the left hash, this for the win. And in his 15th season, he's able to get this one to go. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And this coaching staff, CD, I think you'd agree, pleased with this overall effort. Oh, I think they're more than pleased, right? They've got to look at each other like, wow, we just pulled this one off in a big way. Great job of motivating, even better job of game planning. They were facing a top 10 defense, so they had to make sure that everything was buttoned down and they had it ready to go, and their guys executed. Yeah, they were concerned not only about moving the ball through the air, but also on the ground, but both really started to come in sync. So for Arizona, it's a rare victory for them as they get that record back to three and seven.